spring frosts and fruit trees. Never a good combination. The fruit trees are in full bloom and uh, the temperature dropped from 70 down to in the 20s. I uh, covered the ones that I wanted to fruit the best I could and I use floating crop covers. I basically tie it to the base of a tree, up over the tree, then tie the other end. For large trees, I'll use multiples like this one. The trees are too tall, so I covered up a bunch of the blooms that I could, and then I use a tarp to kind of help out. Now I'll lose these blooms on the side, even if they get pollinated, they'll probably won't make it. I'm supposed to get an even heavier frost tonight. The reason why I'm even out here is because this apple tree, I really wanted to fruit this year. And I didn't have this on here very good. But I'm going to try to do it a little bit better. And secure it with a closed tent. Just like that. Try to keep it on there. Cover them blooms up. And we'll see how this goes. You can see I just basically tie off the loose parts to various limbs. And that's how I deal with spring frost it only matters if the tree is in bloom if the buds still haven't bloomed yet it's not that big of a deal but if they're actually bloomed that's when it matters so you know i probably won't get as much of a peach harvest and a plum harvest but hopefully i'll still get something and that's basically what i'm trying to do is to keep from killing everything I want to save some of it so hopefully that tip helps uh, you can get that floating cloth cover I might add it comes in a couple of different weights I get the heaviest weight possible I buy it in 10 by 50 foot rolls off of Amazon it's 1.2 uh, is the weight 1.2 ounce I believe is the weight do not get the half ounce weight, 0.5. It's too thin. So you want the heavier weight for fruit trees. Hope that helps. As always, God bless you. God bless your families. God bless your homesteads.